I got a haircut, thank you for noticing. I just took a ton of pictures of myself to boost my self-esteem. And I'm ready to talk about a fragrance this evening. Sorry it's so dark. Again, I don't have a ring light or anything. Um, or really any good source of light in my apartment. Um, fun fact, my apartment doesn't have any lights. No ceiling lights. I had to buy a lamp which is behind me and another lamp which is over there and that's the only light I get in my apartment at, at night when the sun goes down. Uh, other than that I have a big window here. Um, but yeah, so I'm sorry that's that's probably why it's so dark. Um, anyways, our fragrance today is, wow, a classic. This is uh, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. Um, no hate to the Juicy Couture fragrances. I honestly love the vibe. I do. Um, I'm wearing it right now. It's already kind of dying down, but we'll get to that later. Um, let's just take a look at the packaging. Aww. Like, that's so cute. That is adorable, don't you think? Here's the other side. It looks cheaper compared to the larger bottle that you can buy which has much cuter packaging. This is, I believe, uh, 30 mil, one ounce packaging. I got this at TJ Maxx, of all places. I got it at TJ Maxx. Um, and I really love the Juicy fragrances. Um, I know that Juicy in the year 2021 is a little um, dated, but I really want to bring them back. I do. I, I love Juicy Couture. Um, especially the fragrances, and I just, I want to, I want to wear a fucking juicy tracksuit. I want to bring that vision to life. I want it to come back. Um, when I think of Juicy Couture, I think of before the recession, so 2000, you know, before 2008 when Juicy Couture was in its peak. I think of, you know, I was young. I was probably maybe eight or nine. Um, you know, my sisters were wearing Juicy Couture and my cousin was wearing Juicy Couture. You know, my older cousins and older sisters who were in high school at the time, they were wearing, you know, Hollister and Abercrombie and & Fitch and um, J. Crew, whatever. And they were wearing, you know, Pink, Victoria's Secret, and they were wearing Juicy, wearing their Juicy. Um, my babysitter wore her Juicy, she had a tracksuit, and I just thought it was the height of being a bad bitch. It was luxurious, and you know, the whole vibe of Juicy Couture is just excess and luxury and feeling girly, and that's what this radiates. This is a time machine in the best way possible. I love the Juicy fragrances, you know, they all, you know, there's a bajillion, oops, don't know why I did that, there's a bajillion variations of Juicy, and they all kind of are just different spins on caramel and white floral. So it really doesn't matter which Juicy fragrance you choose, it's always gonna kind of smell the same with a little twist, <laughs> um, which is not a bad thing, I mean... Yeah, I mean, you could switch it up a little bit and make each fragrance different, but nevertheless. Um, I mean, that's kind of how it works for a, a ton of fragrance lines, is they just kind of change something and put it in a different packaging and give it a different name. Anyways, so this is Gold Couture. It is not the original Juicy fragrance, um, and it was actually released quite, uh, quite after the brand's downfall in 2014. So this is newer. Um, but the original Juicy Fragrance, um, oh no, it's gonna fucking kill me. I have to look up when, when it came out. Okay. <sighs> Viva La Juicy. Launched in 2008. Launched in 2008 was the original Viva La Juicy fragrance. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure Juicy Couture had some earlier fragrances, but that's when Viva La Juicy came out. And 2008 again, I was I was 
eight years old or nine years old at about that time. Shush. Um, I'm so distracted today. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, but that is a little history on Juicy Couture. Um, well, I'm sure there's there's definitely more in-depth history about Juicy Couture, but when I think of Juicy Couture, I think of a time gone by. I think of the past. I think of nostalgia. I think of my childhood and looking up to my older cousins and sisters and just thinking, oh, this shit smells so good. Um, well, let's, let's actually get into the fragrance. So this is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture by Juicy Couture, released, released in 2014. All right, and for the notes, the notes on the top, it, it's kind of ambiguous. Um, the composition in the original uh, description begins with luscious wild berries um, with a heart of sambac jasmine and honeysuckle with a base of sandalwood, golden amber, caramel, and van vanilla elixir. So that's pretty typical of a juicy fragrance. You know, you'll find kind of a berry top and, you know, white floral middle and then caramel vanilla base. That's pretty typical of any juicy couture fragrance. Um, there is a bug on my computer. Killed it. Um, but yeah, so this is something, this is a pretty common formula that you'll see from this fragrance, and it's actually a pretty common composition for that time as well. I mean, Prada candy, you know, caramel fragrances were fucking taking over the fashion world, and I miss that time. I do. Um, let's go ahead and give it a smell. I'm wearing it right now. The white floral is quite prevalent right now. I sprayed it on maybe about 15-20 minutes ago, but it doesn't really smell so strong. Mm, and I'm getting that caramel and vanilla very much so. Let's spray it on once more. Actually, let's smell it on the nozzle too. Mm, definitely very white floral. And the berries you can smell. Okay, let's give it a go. Oof. Yeah. Mm hmm I love the way this smells. Yeah, so the wild berries are pretty brief, kind of at the top. Um, but I'm really just, I'm really smelling that white floral caramel vanilla mix. Um, it really embodies a Viva La Juicy fragrance. I'm trying to think of what set the, sets this aside from the original Viva La Juicy because it smells quite similar to me. Although I think uh, Viva La Juicy itself might have more of a complex composition. <sighs> it smells really good. It's just so delightful. Um, a lot of people consider this to be too syrupy sweet, but I would quite disagree. Shush! Okay, I'm silencing my phone. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't think it's... I think for the time maybe it was syrupy sweet with the caramel in vanilla, amber, sandalwood. Um, it's quite straightforward, if I do say so myself. You can kind of smell everything, which is good. You know, what you see is what you get. smells like I should be wearing a Juicy Couture tracksuit or something. <laughs> it smells- okay, I'm so sorry. How do I- how do I disconnect? Oh my god! Sorry, one thing about having a Mac is that- oh my god. Is that it- like, every time you get a text message, it goes to your laptop as well. And I don't know how to fix it. Um, anyways. But it's- it just smells like a different- more simpler time and that's why I really like it. I mean, you know, the, the fragrance itself is like, eh, you know, it's it's nice. Um, nothing too remarkable about it. It smells good. I can definitely tell you it smells good. Um, something I want to really get into right now is um, 
the longevity of the fragrance. It just doesn't deliver um, for me personally. I would give it like weak to moderate. Um, I spray it on and it goes away. You know, I, I don't really think it stays on long enough for me. It's a fragrance you need to carry with you throughout the day. So I'm gonna give it a weak to moderate rating for me. Um, the Sillage, I would also say moderate to intimate. Uh, intimate to moderate. I mean, it's a nice like go in for a hug kind of fragrance right now. Um, I've I've worn stronger gourmand fragrances. Um, yeah, I would I would say just in terms of longevity and just like overall performance, it's not so good. Um, and I can see why this kind of this line of fragrances is so readily available and so cheap. You know, you can find Viva La Juicy in places such as like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, which I mean personally I think there's nothing wrong with buying a Viva La Juicy fragrance from there. Um, there's nothing wrong with shopping at uh, department stores and... Um, what is the TJ Maxx called again? I literally, I worked at a TJ Maxx for almost a year. Um, but I think, you know, there's a reason why these fragrances end up at those places. Um, nothing wrong with wearing them. I just think there's a reason why they end up there. Um, it's definitely a feminine fragrance. Um, you know, it has that the sweetness that the caramel and the white florals and the berries. Um, but again, you can wear it whoever you are. There are no rules. The value. I think this line of fragrances has definitely cheapened over the years um, and can be found in a lot of places, so it's quite accessible. And I believe I got this little bottle for TJ Maxx under, you know, maybe, maybe 20 bucks, which is not bad for a fragrance, especially of Juicy Couture, although I think Juicy Couture could afford to lower its prices even more. Um, but this is also the smallest bottle. I'm not sure how much the, the largest size is, um, but these are pretty available. So I'd say the value is okay to pretty good. Not bad at all. Um, these fragrances are pretty good as gifts because I think, um, you know, it's one of those fragrances that it's suitable for pretty much anybody. Really, it's suitable for everybody. It's, it's quite, it's simple. It's, it's sweet, it's fun, it's delicate. It's a little bit a mix of everything. But to me, I just really like the nostalgia of it, which is why I bought it, because I was like, oh, Viva La Juicy, like, my sisters wore this, my babysitter wore this. Like, I really wanted to smell that 2008 um, nostalgia. And even though it was produced in 2014, I mean, it doesn't radiate 2014 for me. like. In 2014, I don't remember any of my friends wearing this. What were we wearing? I mean, it was high school, Bath and Body Works. Um, I just, I just don't remember anybody wearing this. You know, this this line of fragrance is outdated, but I don't think that that excludes it from being something unique and special and wearable. That's what this fragrance is right now. Is it's very wearable. Um, I could see this being good for a night out, um, you know, even as a neutral signature scent or a daytime fragrance. I mean, it's nowadays it is quite flexible. And since it's a caramel fragrance, this will attract attention. Um, mostly from guys. Again, I don't know what it is about sweet gourmands, but guys will be all over you. Not as much as they would be if you wore something like Pink Sugar, which I talked about in my previous video as being just like catnip for men <laughs> and just people in general. Uh, but this is one of those fragrances that's uh, a crowd pleaser and that's going to get you um, attention. So um, The bottle design itself is also cute, which I'll give it one thing. It looks really great on your perfume counter. It's adorable. Okay. Um, overall, I mean, I did like the fragrance. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, definitely, I mean, it's, it reads as like more cold weather wear. I wouldn't discount it from being worn in the fall and winter. 
perhaps spring and summer. It's not really strong enough to be avoided in the hot months, so. And I'd say day or nighttime. Um, again, final thoughts. I mean, I think, you know, the juicy fragrances can be considered outdated. I don't think that fragrances really can be outdated. I think it's really all a matter of taste. Um, but the appeal of this fragrance is that it kind of takes you back to a simpler time. Um, it really does smell like pre-recession, you know, Juicy was at its peak, and, you know, tracksuits were in, um, people still wore Hollisters seriously. Um, gosh, I mean, I was a kid back then. I really, I was, you know, this, this smelled like the cool girl that babysat me, or my cool older sisters. Um, I don't really, I don't know how else to explain it. I mean, if, if anybody is watching and was, you know, a teenager or um, an adolescent at that time, please feel free to drop in the comments, you know, what it was like to be in peak juicy time. Uh, I know malls were still, you know, very popular back then. Um, nowadays, I mean, kids don't really go to malls to hang out anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, that, it reminds me of malls. Oh my gosh, malls! Ugh, I don't really go to the mall anymore. Um, uh, who can I see wearing this? Anybody. This is, this is really versatile. Um, anybody who likes a gourmand. Literally any gourmand. Um, there's really not much to say about it, honestly. I mean, I don't, I don't have too much to say. Um, I like it, but it's just not doing anything for me. I mean, it's a little bit denser than the original Viva La Juicy, but... It's, it's not sophisticated, by any means. But if you just want to smell good, and you want to smell like caramel, luxurious, you know, with a little white floral, then this is your fragrance. Um, honest to goodness, I don't have too much to say. I think this is a nice fragrance, it's just not, it's not exciting enough for me. Um, but my god, is it nostalgic, and I, I would really just wear it for the nostalgia factor. Um, yeah, that's really all I have. Sorry for the disappointing video. Uh, don't get me wrong, I really like it, I just don't love it. Um, maybe the original Viva La Juicy is better. Maybe I'll pick that up next time instead. Well, I have to go, uh, but I will see you all in the next video. Bye!